My name is Zhao Ying Summers. Don't worry about pronouncing Zhao Ying. My iPhone auto cracked Zhao Ying to annoying. People also ask me, why don't you have a Chinese last name? I had one before I got married. I was a hoe. Hey guys, welcome to Tiger Milk Podcast. This episode is amazing. <laughs> I have、uh, my favorite girl in New York City, Hannah Burner. She is a phenomenon. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's funny. She's popular, and she also has very good sense of fashion. But white girl, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and I just found out today, her husband Daz is Z Daz Bishop. I I I I'm like what? I am just I don't know what to say, and I am so lucky that we got them both here <laughs> on the couch. Well, this is crazy because I met Zhao Ying at the Laugh Factory. I sat down next to you. You looked at me and you, you were like, "You're really pretty," and I you said,、are. "You're really pretty." We made out. Yeah, we started dating. We got married. But I said, "My husband speaks." Mandarin, can you send him a message? So we started doing this thing where wherever I see you, you'd send a message. Yeah, like, and the message was always basically, I, "I'm attracted to your wife. Can we have a threesome?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in Chinese. Yes, yes, in Chinese. <laughs> we show up today, and I thought she knew my husband was Des Bishop, the comedian, and you did not put it together until now. So that's pretty funny. I'm 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 freaking out. Well, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I can't believe you didn't make the connection. I I I knew. Plus, I'm not that you know. I knew that's Bishop because I was a few days ago. I was at a, a Cipher Sounds podcast, and they were like, "Do you know the comedian that's Bishop who speaks Chinese?" I know your name in Chinese, Lao Bi. Right. But I didn't know that's Bishop is the Lao Bi. So I don't. It's there's three person. No, it's. <laughs> I, 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 it's like the Holy Trinity. Do you know, yeah, do you know what that is? I'm more in cross for this. <laughs> a Chanel cross. Yeah, a Chanel cross. I could not believe that uh, um, you are from the cipher because you are here in New York. You are a comedian, etc. You are the, the 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 white guy who speaks Chinese in America, speaking English who speaks Chinese, and you are that. Okay, I don't. You know, you are a dad, but the dad. But I'm like, how can that be? be <laughs> Bi Han Sheng is not Daz, so I said,、like, "Yeah, there's a Chinese. The guy speaks Chinese. Bi Han Sheng in China. Yeah, he's."、Um, he's well, like, I just took like, the who's, B. Who's Daz Bishop? He's like, you don't know Daz Bishop? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you Chinese? I said, <laughs> there's a guy. He does that, but he's not Daz Bishop. He's you don't understand. So he was like,、well, I gotta introduce you.、And、well, then, does he know you've been voice noting Daz Bishop for years yeah, now? Yeah, I've been sexting. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been sexting. <laughs> She's been sexting me. Yeah, I just said,、uh, your wife is so hot. I want to eat her pussy. That's the best thing I've ever had. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, okay. There's yeah, Holy Trinity. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I'm so excited you asked him to come on because obviously you were on my podcast. You're so fucking hilarious. Our videos went viral. Yeah, it go, always go viral. I think always. It's us. It's just we can、us. do whatever. It go、we're, viral. We just very, do whatever. We just sit there and just like we have good, good chemistry. We do. But then throw this guy in. Oh well, let's my not, let's not, you know. I I just think that Des would、it. really appreciate what I'm doing because doing he he did the same thing he did it in Mandarin. Yeah, but、yes. I was following you already. Really? Well, well before. Yes, he knew well, who you I were. Knew, I knew about you before she did. Uh, from where? From from TikTok. Oh, because it popped up, and obviously I have an interest in China, so I thought it was funny what you were doing. You know, you were、mm. doing your you're a Chinese person speaking about American culture. Yes.、Mm-hmm. That's、mm-hmm. amazing. So here, but your English is better than my Chinese. I don't think so. Yeah,、your、I、Chinese、think so. I think your ability to、uh, no. The only difference between me and you is that when when you speak as a white guy, you speak Mandarin in China. It's more novel, right? So Chinese、mm. people just get more excited because they're like, "Oh, we've never seen this before."、Mm-hmm. Whereas obviously. Uh, Americans、uh, or you know je- English speaking people are more used to watching Asians like struggling with English making yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know so, what I mean? Me, me so horny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, 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 I meant more that you know. There's just you're right. That's right because it just it's not a phenomenon when because and also I think China has a big thing for. People who is blonde with blue eyes. Yeah. They just think, yeah. Just like, I mean the blonde days are long gone now. So, 白白头发，白头发，头发白。我以为 I thought he's being part of blonde. No, no, it's white. He's、This、like Eminem.、Uh, I'm gray. Yeah, it's like a, he's full gray. The Chinese、I mean, never no, let when, themselves. Chinese never let themselves go gray. They always dye it. When we first met, he was had brown hair, and then after dating me, he went gray. <laughs> This is one year with Hannah Burner. Pussy gentrified him. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, Zhao Ying, I feel like what you speak about, which I haven't seen a lot of people speak about, is like the beauty standards mm -hmm. and playing on the like stereotypes of what like a wife should be yeah. and what a woman should be. Yeah. So that's why I think your comedy is so special. Just want to throw in a compliment. Oh, thank you so much. That's also why my husband's left, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. At least the of you is special. That's nice. <laughs> well, yeah, Joe, you're single now. Do you have any friends for her? You kidding me? Of I, course, I can hook you up with plenty of guys. But you need a guy with money. I know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> he went to China. Did I tell you the famous quote from Fechun Wu Rao? I, I, I'd rather I'd rather cry in the back of a BMW than laugh on the back of a bicycle. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's like a famous uh, quote, quote from early yeah. when Feijun Wu Rao was, Feijun Wu was at the dating show, you know, they did Chinese yes. Take Me Out. And when it was like huge at the beginning, yeah. it was like a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, people wow. just uh, say that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. he did one of one also, or two of the dating also, shows. Also, that would really know that in China, if you are over 20, I would say, I would just be nice. Over 26, not married, mm. you are a leftover woman. Sheng nu. Sheng You're nu. leftover yeah. woman. Sheng nu, not like a holy girl, it's the leftover girl. Yeah, leftover. Leftover. Yeah. Not leftover piece that still tastes good. Like a left, no, leftover yeah, no, 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 that's what I was going to say. <laughs> like like spaghetti bolognese, it's better when it's leftover. Yeah, but like, uh, they, they don't think it's like the good leftover. It's yeah. like a Mexican food leftover. It's, it's like, like soggy a... french fries. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> <Who's gonna die? laughs> I've had I bronchitis for like a month. But... I, should, I should be coughing because I brought <laughs> No, no, I, I, I had bronchitis for like the last month, but you said no, like Mexican food leftovers. So. <laughs> yeah, like what, yeah, it's not like some good, good food leftovers. Yeah, like. it's not like the next day it's better. Yeah. yeah. It's but bad. It's tough. Like it, I think these days, though, Shonu is more like th 30. Yeah, 30. Like I me. feel like it's changed. What about Especially with all the, the divorced big people? Big cities, 30 is raised. What about everyone who's been divorced and they're like 35? Oh, oh yeah, you, you really can't pick. Like, go on the street and find a homeless guy and beg him for a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I suck your dick? <laughs> Please. <laughs> but what I, what I found in China with the sexual stuff is that People are definitely a lot more modest about. There's not the same openness about sex. And you're over here, and oh, you're like the opposite. Very modest. You're very open you about sex. You can't talk about sex. Yeah, even I found when I was doing Chinese stand-up, it's like talking about sex. It was like very. They you have to tight. be pretty subtle. Yeah, very subtle. It, it's, they do the thing, but they don't say it. It's, yes. Mm. In Japan, is amazing, right? Like the Japanese porn industry is so good, <laughs> right? <laughs> China, they just. Too much blurring in the Japanese yeah, porn. Yeah, they do, right? Yeah, yeah we don't like the it's blurring. It's trademark, but it's not that special. <laughs> they will sing it. Shuf, so this was one thing I could never do. I never do on stage in China because it's too dirty, but I, I did have one relationship in China. But what I discovered in the relationship was that Shufu is like the word you say when you're like enjoying it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it directly translates to English as comfortable. <laughs> So I, I'm like, wow, I'm killing it here. And suddenly she's like, shufu. And I was like, comfortable? Like a fucking sofa? I thought I, thought yeah, I was killing it. I think shufu has two meanings because like normally it just means comfortable. But because we don't want to use the word, uh, the sexy word for sex. So we take the, like uh, the, I don't know. Gentle like, word. Gentle word. Uh, yeah. But apply to sex. So shufu means pleasurable. Yes. But it's base, the base meaning of that word is, co is comfortable. It's like, a, that's oh, a nice yeah. couch. Good. I'll hence, say that tonight. Hence, yeah. this is the uh, the basis of both of our comedies, right? In English, you like to do that too, right? You fuck around with like a, a thing that translates uh -huh. differently. Yes. Yeah. And that's the whole thing about translation comedy is like, it's funny to you because shufu to me, I like, how can that mean dirty? But to Chinese people, they're like, they don't see it that way. You know? mm -hmm. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. They would never say, how strong ah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we always, he'll be like talking Mandarin at a restaurant because we're in Chinatown. He's always talking, and I'm always sitting there. And after too long, I'm like, they're talking shit about me right now. I think they're talking <laughs> shit. <We can> feel <laughs> it. <laughs> they're yeah. laughing a little too much. Okay. No, I love I love that you guys have had a similar experience. Do, do your Chinese, babe. Do your Chinese. Xie xie. Oh my God. Mic drop. That was actually. <laughs> but, you, know what, you know what's funny? She never says. It as well, she just did right there. She's so good. That was actually very good. No, she, normally I say tia tia. Yeah, she yeah. But she got tia tia means lick lick. <laughs> That's also very useful. Like when I see, you know, when I see a mic, I go tia tia. <laughs> xie xie. Wow, I, that's very else? impressive. What are you? What are you? Lawai. 
Not why. why. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. No, because that's my, my joke is like, in, in Chinatown, you go in and they call you a Lawai. It's like, hey, we're in America. You're the Lawai. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's amazing. It's like a, so she knows so that influent. She, she knows Lawai. Lawai. What is, else do you know? Um, uh, too much pressure. Um, how do you say hello? Ni. Ni hao. That's very impressive. <laughs> And now that is all of Hannah's Chinese. That's, that's impressive, Hannah. The, the pronunciation is, is perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. I'm going to take her to China. Now that China's she's, opening up. She's going to be like the it girl in China. Hmm. Uh, yeah, she'll be the it girl. What, what are the Chinese going to love about Hannah? What's your cute? What, what do you think? Wow, well, she, like she's, they like, they like a tall girls. Mm. Mm. You know, Five with seven. a nice body and long hair and pretty face. Also, she, Tahana is like, she just, she's very humble. I think that kind of quality. Because in, in, in Chinese, the pretty girls, they are duanzhe. Like, they just like, a, mm, oh, they just like, a, <laughs> they are pretentious. Yes. But like, a, when you have a girl with a personality, like she she's a hot girl, but she's, she has an ugly girl personality. <laughs> 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 like a, wow, hi, I love everybody. Hey, I can talk to everybody. She would talk to everybody. She wouldn't be like, uh, you look like you, she's, she's not gonna be like, uh, let me extra your wallet. It's below $2 million. That we can't talk. Hannah would be like uh, talking to everybody. <laughs> she would be talking to Wait, the, that's, you, No one's ever described me that perfectly yeah, before. Yeah, you're, you're a hot girl with an ugly girl personality. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, don't kill me. Hannah, don't kill me. I'm just saying, in China. No, it's, again, but it's, but that's I also. Because you're, you're direct. That's the great thing about this. Yeah, yeah. we, uh, being pretentious, I find unattractive, and also I, I was never called pretty growing up. My really? parents didn't care about looks; they were about like school. Honestly, my mom was kind of a tiger mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they care about school and sports. Wow! And you know, being being kind, mm -hmm. and they never called me pretty because I think my mom's mom was very about looks. My grandma's very sexy, and my mom didn't want to focus too much on looks, but then. But I've always cared about looks for men. I've always been very shallow with my men. Yeah, yeah. You have a yeah. You have a good-looking man. So I can have my ugly girl personality with a handsome man. You, he has like ugly man personality a little. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think so. 老牛吃嫩草. <laughs> See, he's talking. He's always talking shit about me in Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I think in American culture, attractive is uh, in China. Uh, we are like we are taught if you don't behave like you are the pretty girl, mm. you are not a pretty girl. So you're just like a, a lot of pretty girls. They just they're just like really, I don't know, really boring. They but really, it's like a cultural difference in China too, though, right? Because there's the whole thing about modesty in China, like that's that's more attractive, mm. yeah. right? Like a shyness, like high seal, like that's almost like more. Yes. The, yeah, like a sh yeah, yeah. Sometimes even European countries they go act shy, like yeah, that's yeah. attractive. They all act shy, like all but also girls. and also like. Like being cute in China is also kind of almost more important too, right? Yeah, it's I hate almost it. like the, the the a different sort of perception of sexiness altogether. Yeah, I that's why mm. like uh, because I was never cute or shy, so I make fun of uh, whenever a man call me cute. I'm like, cute? What do you think I am? Like a hello kitty? A hello, he does not have a <laughs> mouth. You can't give a blowjob, you dumb asshole. I'm sexy, <laughs> motherfucker. Like. Uh, but yeah, I do think for you and me to succeed in stand up, we have to break some of the like stereotypes of what women are supposed to be to be a stand up cuz stereotypically mm -hmm. being funny and outgoing and hanging out with the boys is like a you have to have that masculine energy yeah, sometimes yeah. but masculine energy I think is a made up thing yeah. like I think yeah like people are making it like being masculine means funny but that's not actually women are so fucking funny we are funny and I feel like uh, um I feel like because my, my you know my, my 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 dad brought me back from the dumpster because uh, I think they still saw there's a hint of a penis here. So that's been really helping me now. Like I've I always been a man, and now being a man is good in comedy. I'm a girl, but I have a man's personality. I, yes. I feel like a man. Ni, I want to take care you, of people. Are you a Baoling Ho? Uh, uh, Ho. Oh, Jiu Jiu, Jiu, oh, wow. So you're the one child. So they, they never they never had another? No Fa Kwan? No, they, no. they had a, a one more until they had a boy. But they give up their house, their job. Yeah. So they, have so they paid all the penalties. Yeah, so they can have a, a son, which my, my brother is a moron. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the provider. Oh, well, he can play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they can make good money for video games, though. But he eats. Does he know you make fun of him? Uh, he doesn't speak English, and uh, uh, he's going to come over here and be my driver. <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting for him to come. I'm getting him a, a visa. Yeah. Is he going to come over? My, my brother, yes. But he's like typical young Chinese kid yeah, loves video he's games. He's like a lazy, spoiled. He's sweet, but uh, 
Yeah, there is no future. <laughs> <laughs> is he not in university? Uh, I think he he went to a very shitty one. Um, <laughs> he just uh, he doesn't have ambition. He just he had penis. That's all he had, and that's why he's. <gasps> that's he's, why he's more important. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah. So your parents had two kids? No, I have a sister, a younger Whoa. sister. Yeah, they 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 wanted a boy. They really did. They would give up everything to have my son, the moron. I mean, my my brother. <laughs> my, son my son is also a moron. <laughs> my, sister, my, my, my daughter is cuter, but you can see it's in yeah. my subconsciousness. My son, no, yeah, moron. you're trained saying like you're not worthy until you're a guy. Yeah. And it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I behave like a man. I, I my son, yeah, he's okay. But my daughter, she's very sharp. But I'm not giving her good time because you know what you are a girl you you have to be better than a man to get the, the man is getting right I, I feel like a, i think it's getting better it's a little better but i don't think it's i don't want her, her to understand now that. how do you feel about raising two american kids well i just think it's really hard that in america you can't hit them <laughs> <laughs> like you can't hit the kids that's that's really really hard for me I also like reconsider the green card situation. I'm like, should I be here? You can't hate them. <laughs> Even though when they are four, you can't hate them. Like, what, what do you do? Like, he was of the generation where yeah, you still could hit. hit. Yeah. yeah, right. The Chinese can still hit. The yeah. 80s. I got a timeout. Timeout. Yeah, <laughs> I had to sit in the corner of the room. Timeout, oh. and I would, I would escape. Yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> now it's like no TV or you know. Well, um, I, I think it's very hard. I think we should be allowed to hit them until they are um, thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should be allowed to hit the boys. Yeah, the boys also like uh, probably kill them. No, but no. If you hit the boy, the message is: What are you teaching them? It's like when a woman hits you, you don't hit back. Mm, that's the yeah. message. Mm. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though the Andrew Tate people will come at me now saying that I'm, uh, I'm saying that violence against men is okay, but which men was civilian? Men love so, violence. They yeah, they love that. tough, rough sex, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think they do. You slap them on the not face. Not me, not me. No. That's not my thing. Okay. No, we're okay. vanilla. That's not my bag. Okay, so you're just... How do you say vanilla in Chinese? I don't know how vanilla, to say vanilla. Vanilla, I would say just... Uh, uh, Chinese don't eat ice cream. Would you say... <laughs> uh, would you say... Uh, basic <laughs> bitch. No, <laughs> no, no, vanilla in general. I, I don't even know how to like say it. Uh, um, I don't know what the uh, Vanilla is. Uh, 法国, uh, 法国. No, I mean, sure. Wait, so he it's makes fun of me. I have to look it up. Because I grew up in New York City yeah. and there's always, you know, Chinese restaurants. But I oh, grew up. Oh, oh, I grew up on the Americanized Chinese food. The general chows, the sesame chicken, the chicken and broccoli, the fried rice. He wanted to do egg drop soup. What do you say? She doesn't she can't eat any of the hot pot. I'm taking the hot pot. The hot pot. I've had I, some Have you had a hot pot? We, we I've did never with taken Daniel. It to a hot pot. With Daniel on Genie. We went once. To a hot, did in we Astoria, get a hot pot? In Astoria. We didn't get hot pot though, did we? Yeah, we did. No, no, no. We didn't get proper Let's hot go pot. to the hot pot in Flushing. Okay. Mm. Mm. Just, well, I, I, I was, grew up in Flushing. Oh, wow. That's where I'm from, mm -hmm. originally. Nice, nice. My favorite though is we're in Chinatown and he'll start speaking Mandarin to someone and they won't even process that it's Mandarin and they'll respond in English. And then he'll say it again because they just are hearing a language and they're assuming it's English. And then he'll say it again and then they'll be like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's Sometimes they don't recognize straight away. They just respond. Wow. But uh, she she doesn't like anything with too much flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's very American. Yeah. And I eat the right the fried rice. She loves getting sport. fried rice. Which they say is just like a filler. Well, sometimes in China. I'll order like all these great dishes. She eats the fried and rice. And then she just wants to like load up on rice. I'm like, why you, you know, this is the poverty food. I you fuck with Peking duck. Okay, I'll take you to Peking Duck, a good one. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like, took her to Huayu on the East, East Broadway. That's Pretty nice. Yeah. So I remember whenever there's a banquet at home, my grandpa tell me one thing, don't have a chair, don't sit, and take a chopstick. You walk around in a circle, you eat all the meat, all the thing, and the stuff yourself. When the rice come, just lick it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm so glad you're telling it, because I don't think she believes me when I tell her some of these things. I'm like, why are you eating the rice so early? And she's like, but I'm also, I'm Italian where we like to take sauce and put it on like a pasta. Mm -hmm. So I'll take the rice and then I'll put whatever garlic sauce or whatever mm -hmm. soy sauce on it. And then everyone's looking at me like, what is this girl yeah, doing? Because like the Americans, because like all of us, we grew up with like, you put the rice on the dish and then you pour all the you Chinese food on it. You put the chicken and broccoli so on like, top. When I order like all the dishes like Chinese style, then they, like her and her parents, they'll like, they'll scoop out a big spoon of it. 
and put it on top of the rice. I'm like, no, we're just gonna keep, <laughs> we're just gonna keep tasting. <laughs> but my family loves. We grew up across the street from a Szechuan place. Oh, and the waitress Kim loved my brother, blonde, blue eyes, mm -hmm. and she would take him into the kitchen and give him tours. She put my hair in chopsticks when I was oh, that's little. So cute. We loved Kim. So like, we went like twice a week growing up. That's so sweet. But then I realized it was so Americanized compared to the way we're eating now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I took her to a Spicy more... Village in the, you know, which does like the, like Biang Bao Mian and the They more. use a lot more like cumin and stuff yeah. than yeah, I expected. Yeah, she, she doesn't love that. Cumin smell like armpit hair, yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say that, yeah. So what's your favorite food? Uh, I like spicy. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, I like it. I, I I need to I need to dig my meat from the peppers. If there's more meat than pepper, it's not my food. I need to like find it. Like, like find a good dick. Yeah. It's like curtains of. You, you can't use like be bam right there. I'm like, is it good? Why is it here for me? You need to go on a journey. Yeah, like I've yeah. never. She's never earn gotten it. like the. Have you, we've never gotten the fish that's like literally in oil. We in, have in, buried in, in, in oil peppers. and chili peppers. We Oh, maybe not no, the peppers. We never yeah, had. you have to like dig, find the meat. I, she's never had like the shuizhu nuro. The shuizhu nuro, oh, how good. She's never had. Hen la. The, so that's like beef in like the the chili oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shuizhu yeah. yeah. shuizhu nuro. I know. I, 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 she just it's too much for her. Well, well, we can we can take the meat and dip in uh, water or vanilla <laughs> sauce. <laughs> You've never felt more white than this conversation. Heidi Lao. <laughs> I need to take her to Heidi Lao in Beijing. But we're, I'm going to take her to China. Oh, nice! Because I have so all excited. my buddies over there. Yeah. Do you like Italian food? I love Italian food. I'm I'm a foodie. Oh, I, I don't yes. care. I just I like to eat. I don't care. Same. Same. Is, but do like, you slurp your spaghetti like a Chinese person? I, I do you saw make that, a lot of noise. I saw people do that, and I stopped it. I normally I just like no, I don't do that. And I saw my my mom doing that. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't, you don't, you don't deserve to take me like take me to the dumpster. Like you suck. <laughs> but when you eat like soup noodles, do you go like? <laughs> I don't do that. My my I I used to do that, but then I found out that's disgusting. I stopped doing that. Yeah, I'm the opposite. I I used to hate it, but then I went to China and I was like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> so get it into you. Yeah, I should probably get back to it. But <laughs> I'm I'm single anyway. Nobody want me anyway. So just fucking slurp the fucking noodle to. <laughs> what about my brother? Oh, my brother doesn't have money, but you're making money now. Why don't you look after my brother? Well, okay. He's tall. This <laughs> tall. He's taller than me. He looks me. just like him. But taller? Taller, taller. taller. Six four, six um, five. My phone number is three one zero. Six seven eight. <laughs> you should go on a date. We should get him on one date. Yeah, I'll get you on a date with him. He likes. He's from Flushing. He's used to Chinese people. <laughs> so. He would love Zhao Ying. Oh yeah, he would love you. We should just go on a double date at least. Yeah. We'll do all that. And Aiden has been to China twice. Twice? Yeah, I went in Three 2000. Three times a charm. <laughs> <laughs> Take him to China. Yeah. China. Yeah. Get him married. China. 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 <laughs> I don't even need a green card, so that's for love. That's what <laughs> 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 Sorry, the people downstairs are going to get upset. Sorry. <laughs> so he, he's, this, he's the one on the, the left. Oh. The one in the middle is taken. So there you go. Those are the three Those Irish the brothers. brothers. Do you like Irish men? Uh, if they drink, yeah. Oh, oh he's um. not a drinker. That's the only thing. That's good. But I it's drink. better. You I drink, drink. Yeah. He, he takes care of you. That's not bad. You don't want he's that? He's cute. He's adorable. Yes, he's very cute. No, no. 43. Okay. Not married. How old are you? 47. You look very young. He does look well, young. To Chinese people, I look young. But the, you know, the, the the white hair is no good. No, it's good. As long as it's thick, it's good. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't matter what color. If it's black, there's a one. It doesn't really matter. They say if you go gray, it stays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gray stays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I don't care about the color. I'm I care about gray. the volume. I'm going gray. Yeah, it stays. Yeah. <laughs> it stays. I've, you know, I'm 31 We're, now. I'm I've, older than you. I'm 33. You're 33? Oh, God. I feel like 30s are the best. I think so. I, I, I was very insecure when I was younger. I look better than I am now because I, I was younger. I look better, too. But I just hate myself so much. <laughs> I'm so insecure. Like, I look at my face. I'm like, <laughs> you know, like... Back in the 20s. Yeah, in the 20s. You well, think ugly. Were you in America? Yeah, I, I came here when I was 19 for college. I went oh, to Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. I saw that on one oh, of the yeah. stories. Yeah. So I was so unhappy. I felt ugly. I look... I, I don't look ugly, but I thought I looked ugly. You thought you I was did. insecure and I really just uh, didn't understand my value. 
Mm-hmm. And when I see a nice guy, like I just don't appreciate that. When I see a toxic guy, I try to please him. Like mm-hmm. I was a dumb little hoe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we all were. So, so you stupid. You speak about yourself in such a loving way. I know. I really love myself. I love myself so much. But that's why the dichotomy, because you could be very cocky, but instead you're very self-deprecating, which oh. is such a beautiful duality. Oh, thank you. I, you're welcome. Yeah, I really felt I was, I was really <laughs> wasting time on the earth. I just really being dumb. But, but I feel like you older. always change. Like if you're uncomfortable, I feel like you go for something else. You're not just going to sit in depression. Yeah, yeah I just uh, wanted to be popular mm-hmm. and I was never popular. When I was a little girl, I was ugly. My nickname was Cage Fighter. <laughs> no, Cage. Okay, a stocked beast in a cage. <laughs> it's worse in Chinese. Kwando <laughs> Show. Quan means stock, Do means fighter, Shou means beast. <laughs> <laughs> they called you that? Yeah, my nickname when I was a little girl. And then, <laughs> I, you know, like a big lips, dark skin. It's just the oh, big dang. jaw, like a big square face jaw. It yeah. just stays, like I have the face of like a unneutered pit bull, like <laughs> <laughs> the blue skin pit bull. This is the big ear, floppy ear, without even, not even neutered. We neutered. love pit bulls. I know, but like a, <laughs> You know, before you neuter them, they're like, <laughs> so I wasn't popular and I, I don't get it. I just, I love everybody. Nobody likes me. So and now you're in a career where. No, but you're better in the States. You the need, Americans yeah. appreciate. You need laughter to feel. Yeah. Like Alice, like Alice love in you. Wonderland, I play the tree stump. Yes. 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 You're like, a, your face is like a. So squared, it should be the tree stump. It's so funny. In America, we never talk about face shape. Oh, but the Chinese are obsessed with face shape. V shape. Yes. All, all my Chinese right? friends make fun of their shape. Their my my friend Leo, that he's like my best Chinese friend. He always says he has a pancake face. Like the Chinese That's are also persimmon is also popular. Well, I have a persimmon face. So a what persimmon? Pers- persimmon. 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 Like the fruit. The persimmon. fruit. Oh persimmon. right, right, like right. A, persimmon. Pla- Pancake. I actually don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> in America, we like acknowledge the different face shapes, but it would be like, if your face is oval, you wear these sunglasses. Uh-huh. If your face is square, you wear these. Like it's never negative or positive. But nowadays with the plastic surgery, people, yeah, they're honestly, doing the, the buckle fat, yeah. the buckle fat removal. That's not good. But the pressure in Asia is greater, actually. That was yeah. the one thing that surprised me when I moved to China was actually... The Asians were ahead of the West in altering face shape. Yes, so like a V-shaped face, you get all the dicks, all the money, all the everything. <laughs> Your face is round. Um, we call it Tu Fei Yuan. Tu means no class. Fei means fat. Yuan means round. When so, did people start getting the V plastic surgery? When Fan Bingbing started trying to show her fucking whole face around. <laughs> Li Bingbing. Fan Bing, both the Bingbings. Oh, I met Li Bingbing. Li Bingbing, how old is she? Is she a dinosaur? She, she was fine. She was nice. Actually. I'm not. A, I'm not a, a feminist. Um, <laughs> she, she is amazing. She was a school teacher, and she became a movie star. And her sister, Li Bingbing Bing or Fan Bingbing. Li Bingbing. Bing. Yeah, yeah. Li Bingbing. Bing, she started late. You know, she didn't really start acting until in her late twenties or early thirties. And she just, uh, she just, she she had a, the big square face. Then she altered into like oh, a yeah, face. Oh yeah, she did. The- but she was pretty either way. But she didn't need a chain though. Yeah. But it's unfortunate though that, but that's why you come to the states and the Amer- the Western guys appreciate your your persimmon face. Persimmon, like it's like a two big one is my face, like a big round and no class, and then like a uh, the the skin color is so disgusting, like a bai fu mei, right? Yeah, bai fu mei. I, I don't White, like that. White, rich, rich and, and beautiful. beautiful. Like your skin is not pretty. They call a girl like you with bai fu mei, like a white skin, uh, rich and beautiful. Wow. But it's funny because right now I'll be like, oh, I'm, it's winter. I'm so pale. I'm getting a spray tan tonight. Exactly. You're, I'm getting you're, a spray tan yeah, to she's get getting orange to look tonight. like a farmer. <laughs> I know. I know. In China. No I, mean. No mean. Day. In China, I try to hide my skin. Like, I don't, I can't show my, because it's so dark. I can't do anything about it. And in America, I try to like show more to make my uh, white friend feel bad. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's just natural. It's really natural. I'm not kidding. It's like really natural. Don't they do skin bleaching? Oh yeah, of that's course. what they do in every way. The lotion and also uh, you take the pill and also you uh, you get IV treatment to get to 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 for the full effect. That's what I got. I I got in a I got in a TV show. My husband bought it. <laughs> My ex. So they were like, a, it's a girl who is basically a, a young CEO. She came back from America from a rich family to run the business, and then she has all the guys want her. It's like that. And uh, I was like, okay, so I don't have to 
bleach my skin. They're like, no, no, no. You don't look convincing as a leading lady. You can be the girl who got dumped, but like nobody in China would believe that all the guys want you. I'm like they don't look, no, honey, no. So uh, also they're like, let's do a bob cut. So they cut my hair like this and like this, like a curtain to cover my ugly face. Oh my god. They're like, can we can we just uh, if you wear a coat can we do like I'm telling you can we just like uh, also use a use a bobby pin to pin it like this I'm like do you want me to be a man that's a beard you look like a city Jew right? <laughs> I look like a pretty Chinese girl now right like this <laughs> I'm so shy oh that's a dick I've never seen a dick before Oh, she's gonna be chappy out. Now it literally feels like we're doing the Shinji and they go, uh. Shinji show. Be chappy out. Be chappy out with green tea horror. It's like they, like what that said, like it doesn't matter what they think, they put in their shy. I'm really chappy out. Like a green tea horror. Like, oh, I'm so pretty. Me so pretty. Oh, I've never seen a dick before. Dick. Mm. <laughs> but now in America, everyone's trying to have the biggest lips ever. <laughs> no, it's crazy. <laughs> I know, you know, I was living with a Chinese family when I was in China and she showed me a picture, the, the woman that I was living with showed me a picture of Angelina Jolie and she was like, why do you like this? They, yeah, yeah. They, she didn't understand why we want, why we like this. You know this. the Chinese actor Shu Qi, right? Oh, I, I don't. Shu Qi, she's the Chinese actress with the big lips. She's actually pretty, but China, China is like, a, like in America, I ask American guys, like, a, oh, the most beautiful Chinese actor is Shu Qi. Nobody say Fan Bingbing, because Shu Qi is like this. Yeah, the American guys don't understand why Fan Bingbing they were like, is beautiful. Why is her? It's like, my mom's like, I think when she's a little girl during Chinese New Year, you know, uh, the firecracker got in her mouth and blew, <laughs> blew it up. It's so bad, though, because you know the thing about China? <laughs> why do you like this? They're so... <laughs> That's what her mom said. <laughs> <laughs> they're so bad, though, because they're so abrupt. They're so direct. Yeah. The yeah. Chinese, they don't hold back on anything. No, that's why I want to incorporate the Chinese mom in my comedy. It's just like, <laughs> I just walk to, <laughs> I have a boyfriend. I convinced him to be my boyfriend because he didn't want to be my boyfriend when I was in high school. I, my skin was too dark. You know, he was like, I, I'm like, just let me be your girlfriend. You know, like I can, you know, I can do your homework. <laughs> and I went to, I went to his house. His mom's like, why are you so ugly? <laughs> So bad. It's so you bad. have a bit about the the fat. About the oh no no I do a bit about that about uh, one of the things I miss about China is the directness. Yeah. Like if you're fat in China, they'll just be like, "Oh, you're so fat." Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know? And if you get offended, they were like, "Well, don't be fat. You know, you don't have to be fat." Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm See, like, it makes them laugh. See. Yeah. That's, I'm like, I'm that's an English bit. That's an English bit. I can't, I'm I can't do that because in Chinese. Because it's true. Because it's true. He's like, oh, here, here, this is a true yeah. story, right? Yeah. <laughs> so one time, my director for the documentary, I, a white guy from Ireland, big guy, kind of fat. And uh, one day we're on the, the elevator in my apartment in Beijing, the second year, or the first year I was in China. So in the apartment, and this old grandmother gets on with her little grandson, right? And he's a little fatty. <laughs> and my, my director does not speak Chinese. And the grandmother gets on the elevator, looks at my... My buddy, and he goes, oh, look at this Lao Wai. He is so fat, like you, <laughs> to, to her grandson. <laughs> I started laughing. He's like, what did she say? And he was like, oh, you, you're very tall. You're very tall. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I use this for my comedy, but it's, sometimes when I get drunk, I say it. But when I get sober, and not like, not as high, I'm like, oh, you can't say that. That's, mm. that's really body shaming. But then the Chinese in me come out. I'm like, that's not body shaming. That's the truth. So, <laughs> so I was, I, I was uh, eating. Uh, I think we, we, had, we were having steak. And one of my, one of my friend, uh, she came to visit me and my mom. So she dropped in to say hi. Me and my mom is eating steak. She's a vegan. She's huge. <laughs> she's like a, she's a Kentucky big. She's, yeah. The girl. <laughs> she's a big, yeah. She's thick. She's th but not thick. She's yeah. morbidly obese. I think uh, I would say obese. Uh, yeah. She would need uh, help to get in places. <laughs> and uh, she's like, I, I don't think you should, uh, you, you should uh, eat the Steak. cow. Yeah, the cow, they consume so much energy. I really think you should think about the environment. My mom's like, you consume more energy. You're a big <laughs> Your mother said that? <laughs> yeah, to her. <laughs> You're fat than a cow. You consume more energy. <laughs> don't give me diet restriction orders. You, whatever you are eating, I'm not eating. <laughs> <laughs> I do. 
I did learn from him though, like how the Chinese have such a good sense of humor. But when you don't understand Chinese, it seems like they're all fighting all the time because yeah, they, they, of the yeah. tones. So yeah. it just looks like they're all yelling at each other and they're yeah. angry. But then he'll be like, "Oh, they're they're like calling each other. They're saying this." And then I realized like they have such a great sense of humor that Americans, I don't think, know about. Yeah, I think the Chinese are just really direct. It's like a, direct. everybody's Bill Burr. <laughs> Everybody, well, <everybody's> a billboard. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's good sometimes, but you know, every culture has their complexities. You know, the yes. Chinese care too much about mianza. You know, there's other things in yeah, China. Mianza is too. Like, that's, that's, it's too so, much. So too much. Too and much. then also, obviously, sometimes, even though I like xiaoshun, I like respecting mm -hmm. parents, mm -hmm. but sometimes in China, there's too, too much respect for hierarchy. Oh uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's very yeah, it's uh, it's, uh, it's just it's uh, become very unattractive and annoying mm -hmm. to a point. Mm -hmm. People like to chase the power to enjoy that fake mm -hmm. means like uh, yeah. like the that they so deserve. some of that I I, I was like didn't they love. deserve respect just because they're older. Oh, they're also, they are respect, powerful. A lot of respect stuff. Yeah, for the like yeah. who drinks first and who, uh, yeah, you know, you can, who, who's you know who's the host at the table and the, the head of the fish should be pointing at the. the the most important person on the ta like on the table. If there is a manager who uh, set up the table, the head of the steamed fish is not pointing at the most uh, important person. They'll be fired. They'll be like, "Are you dumb?" Yeah, Imagine like, like when that. I see somebody a lot get of my. That type of stuff. So get my but how do you know who the most important person is? You are gonna know when because when they walk in, you're like, "Oh, oh, oh <laughs> this fat fuck is here!" Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and always because I was the Lao Wai, uh -huh. I would always be like the second most important because yeah, they really because care about the to, current. You know, yeah, the, the guest is like really important. The most important uh, uh, guest would be next to the most important person. So uh, they can show you off. Yeah, and then they would person. always like, I would always try the food first. Yes. Yeah, make sure it's not poison. But it goes right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, you have to get the fish head right to point the right person. When I'm in America, they got my French fry wrong. Like, uh, this is not the sweet potato fry. I, are you stupid? <laughs> you can't say that in America. It's bullying. But in China, it's like, uh, thank you for telling me what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. oh, Are you dumb? Yeah. They treat, that's one thing I definitely don't miss about China. They treat, they treat like service. Dirt. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, like, you know, like, they don't care. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? Give me a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I also heard that they walk around a lot with their shirts up. Because their belly is too big to be covered <laughs> from all the beer and I, I, I call that the Mao Thai. Dong Bei Kong Tiao. Because we'll sit in Chinatown in the summer, a guy will just have a shirt up and Des goes, everyone in China. <laughs> yeah. Normal. yeah, it's normal. It's normal. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, just wear a sleeping, bikini. Sleeping in a cafe is normal too. Yeah. I miss that about China. They're yeah. good at napping. I'll fit in. Oh yeah, you yeah. can nap. But the thing in China is you can nap anywhere. Nobody thinks it's weird. Yeah, they don't think it's weird. <laughs> yeah. They like a break. Do they you like, like eating jellyfish? Uh I I don't I don't I don't know. It's feel like a it's feel like a sperm. Use the condoms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because I see it on the menus and I wonder if it's a real like delicacy. Yeah. Do you like jellyfish? No, I don't think I ever ate it. I just I ate a duck. Duck tongue. Duck yeah, neck. Duck neck. Spicy yeah. duck neck. Wuhan. Well, I like that. Wuhan, uh, Wuhan yabo. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's so spicy. I, I so thought good. I wouldn't like it because it literally looks like it looks <laughs> like PVC a, piping. A it, tiny, teeny, weeny. It, 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 but actually, it's it of all those good. weird foods because I don't good. like... Um, Tripe. I forgot the tripe. Tripe. Something fake. What your is stomach, it? Your stomach. Uh, this. Uh, new, new, new. Like fake. You know when the inside. Your stomach lining. Fei. New fake. Yeah. Stomach lining. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that, but I like the the duck. Duck neck, neck is good, I, because the flavor gets in. It's the like the flavor is good mm. and it's spicy. And it's mala. Mala. And mala. Mala. And then it, it's like uh, it's oh, chewy. It's I also almost like, like a, calamari. I also like a um, uh, duck feet. Duck feet with, um, I don't know, like it's like a Chinese mustard. Yeah, I've never feet. been it's into so the spicy. feet. Too much work. But the it's feet. no bone. They take all the bone out. It's like lobster. Oh, duck really? Feet. Duck oh, feet maybe is like I haven't no had it. Yeah, it's good for your skin. Also, I'm part Jewish, and I heard that the Chinese and the Jews have sim well, that's that's a similar similar culture. Who's so cheaper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that clip this morning. I, like well, I never thought like the Chinese and the Jews 
related to each other, but that's a beautiful connection if they do. I think well, so. Culture, I, I, what they used to say to me in China about the Yotaira, about Jewish people, yeah. the Chinese people uh, respect them because one, they care a lot about education yeah. and they're very good business people. Yes, oh. they, like, that's the most important thing people look up to in China is uh, education and uh, good at business. Oh, are the, uh, is there- And a, that there's a tradition of uh, Jewish community in Wenzhou. I was about to say, is there a Jewish population yes, in China? And during the Holocaust, a lot of them flee to Shanghai. Shanghai had a, a oh Jewish- Oh my gosh. Like a lot of very powerful, successful people, they actually grew up in Shanghai, the Jewish people. Wow, did any Chinese convert to Judaism? If I marry a Jew, I would do that. I want to go all the way. Like, don't do halfway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You and also, go like, I think it's very insulting. People ask me, do you, who's cheaper, the Chinese or the Jew? I'm like, uh, the half Chinese, half Jew, they are cheaper. <laughs> 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 oh my God. The very cute children, probably. I think so. Yeah. yeah. They'll be very cute. Would you have more kids? If uh, if the time is right, the man is right, you know, mm. I would have more kids. I mm. like children. Mm. I'm not a good mom, but like, I think. <laughs> I think, you know, if you have five, at least you can be good for one of them. <laughs> Even a blind squirrel finds so you, a So you, you have a hunchwe, right? You married a Laowai, right? No, I married a Chinese man. Oh, you married a Chinese? A Shanghainese man. Oh. Well, people tell me stop Asian hate. I'm like, hate the Shanghainese man. They need it. You know them, right? This was my joke about the, the difference between Dongbei and Shanghai. So in Dongbei, <laughs> if I try to pay the, you go to pay the bill, you know, There's my dad. Like, the sort of fight. A sort, the, the fight. Like the dumb bay guy will never let me pay. You know? Like, no, what I, what I, they kill each other, right? Can I, can in, I, Shanghai, yeah. in Shanghai, I'll be like, what I? They'll be like, ah, no, ni lai. <laughs> oh, I can do the, I, I can do the uh, dumb bay one. Okay, do it. <laughs> you can buy that love, you can't see me. And then Shanghainese like, uh, yes, do it. <laughs> my wallet is uh, at home. <laughs> I left my wallet on my Porsche, sorry. <laughs> my Porsche. <laughs> right? A Shanghainese man. Oh God! So Where did you two meet? Do they have? A, does he have a fangzi in the Shanghai? Yeah, he's rich, but he's Shanghainese, so he's cheap. Mm. So like, is he speaking? Are you speaking Mandarin with your children? Yeah, he speaks Shanghainese with them. I don't know. He's speaking <laughs> He speaks Bichinese. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, he's in LA? Uh, he's in Shanghai and in LA. He, he, oh, right. I have a custody, so he visits the kids. Uh, Where did you meet him? Shanghai Film Festival. I was hosting an event oh. as like a, a, a MC, and yeah. that's how we met. Yeah. I wasn't really in love, then I, then I saw his yachts. I'm like, Pearl, mm -hmm. okay. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't feel. You did okay in the divorce? No. You weren't it, happy with the Hunli? Uh, I, I was the one who insisted to divorce. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want a divorce. So mm -hmm. to punish me, he's not giving me any money. Mm. But it's fine. Oh, yeah. The night I met her, she was like, I'm wearing these dresses before I have to sell them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was honest. I'm wearing those dresses before I have to you sell them. You didn't get them. an American lawyer? Uh, it's uh, The tricky thing is that he's not American. And we got married in America. I'm American. And all his wealth is in China. I'm pretty sure he has transferred uh. everything to his brother, to his son. Uh, other, other son. Wow, this is like a like a Chinese, like a Korean soap opera. Oh, yeah. 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 And I, I, all I want is I want custody and I don't mm. want to talk to him ever again. Oh. So I didn't want anything. Very empowering of you. Yeah, I'm like uh, talking to you. Every time we have a conversation, I lose a million dollars. <laughs> I, and I also like, uh, I think I lose 10 years of living. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I think is toxic for me. I, I was able to make money before I met him. I was successful financially. Mm -hmm. I was doing well. Mm -hmm. So he, of course, he's like really wealthy, but it's not going to help me sitting in the mansion buying Birkin bags. I wanted to spend five dollar every night for open mic and get good at comedy. So yeah. that's what I want. And it, she chose comedy. Yeah, I chose comedy. I chose being poor and I chose the hustle. Respect that. Because I mean, you want to feel fulfilled and it turns out a Birkin is fun for like a photo. Yeah. What's a Birkin? How cute is he? Well, he's not gay. He'll never be gay. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Doesn't it's matter like the where most he's going. expensive handbag. It's like oh. hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I think uh, I'm happier now, even though I'm poor. I can't afford things I used to be buying, but mm -hmm. uh, I can I can afford the kids' tuition. I can afford my maid, my mm -hmm. nanny, and my assistants. Mm -hmm. All my money I make uh, kind of, you know, every month it just... Uh, <laughs> but at least, you know. But, think, but you're happy. happy. You're enjoying I'm life. I'm very happy. But yeah, ha I'm happier you, than ever. You got what you thought you wanted for happiness. The rich man, the family, yeah. and you weren't happy. So 
it changed your perspective on life and it's beautiful. Yeah. Now that, you're laughing on the back of a bicycle. I know. I know. A scooter, but <laughs> I can afford a scooter. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, I remember like uh, uh, I just don't understand what's wrong with my ex-husband. He's very handsome, very wealthy, very polite and nice and uh, likes sports. It's just like a uh, do charity. He donated like for 3,000 schools. I'm like, that's a, he doesn't smoke, doesn't drink. Mm. I'm like, he's he's not gay. I'm like, what's going on? Then I found out he's a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, he's like, he's, he, he likes to mentally control me. I mean, I'm pretty sure mm. I'm not trying to badmouth him. Like a, a, a Chinese girl who wants a rich husband who is ob- obedient and likes money would be a perfect wife for him. Yes. Yes. She'll be very mean. He's not mean unless you want to go out and do comedy. Yep. You know? He's nice yes. if you just stay home. And look good. That's for why him. I tell the girlies it's not about finding the perfect guy. It's about finding the perfect guy for you. Exactly. And I, like, yeah. it's important to get what you think you want so you learn, oh, that's not what I want. Yes. Like, yeah. if he was controlling uh-huh. and he didn't let me do what I want to do, I don't care that he's 6'3. It wouldn't work. Yeah. Yes. And once you experience the freedom of the type of life that you have, it's very hard to go back to be the type of woman that he wants. Exactly. Because it's very rigid in China. Yeah. Children, I did not. Uh, uh, Talk shit about your dad. Uh, I don't, when you go to your therapist, they don't blame me for shit, okay? I did the best I can. I did the best I can, okay? I, 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 I'm, I'm using my comedy money paying for your fucking tuitions. I did the best I can. Your dad is good. Uh, and also, you're going to find a guy now that you're in your lane, you're doing what you love, and you're shining, and you're giving the energy that's authentic to you. Yeah. A guy is going to see you for you, mm-hmm. not you in this mold that was like put on to you. Uh, honestly, yeah. though, I think you need to start writing the script in Mandarin. Never mind the English language movie. I think you need to write a movie script about a Chinese woman who leaves her very wealthy guy to do stand-up. Oh, do you know film. my nickname from him? What? He called me Ai Jiao Hu. Ai uh, means short, Jiao means leg, Hu means tiger. Short leg tiger. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? He he wants girls like you, like t- long legs, tall girls. <laughs> <laughs> so he called me Ai Jiao Hu. He's like, but that's a cute term. I'm like, short like a tiger. <laughs> short like a tiger. He's gonna have a temple of a tiger. You know, you you know who, those cats with no legs? Who is good? Yeah, like the short leg. Who is good? Who is good, but you know, short leg. Yeah, I once I dated a Jewish guy who called me a Meshuggah Nashiksa. What's that? It means crazy animal, not Jewish enough. Because I'm half Jewish. Oh. And I was like, crazy animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm the tiger who's I'm not I'm trying to think of her nickname. <laughs> Gao something long. Long dragon, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Oh, Gao Fei Long. Oh, do I? Gao Fei Long. Cute butt dragon. Tall. Flying uh, dragon. Rich and. Flying dragon. Dragon. Oh, Fei. Oh, like Fei. Fei. Yeah. Oh, Fei, because I, I think she's flying high in her career. Yes. So. Yeah, Gao yeah. Fei Long. Yeah, Gao Fei Long. Oh, the dragon who fly high. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. nice. That's good. But sometimes she needs to keep her mouth shut and not fucking burn the village down. Yeah, don't burn the village down. Yeah, because she has all the power now. She has all the power. Yeah, great power comes great the, responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Every, now and then, every now and then she blows too much fire. <laughs> Joe Ying, what do we call him? I'll be it. I'll be. Oh, no, no. We call uh, him Grumpy. <laughs> grumpy? Let me sing. Before you didn't hear me in Chinese, I said, the old bull eats the young grass. That's the yes. Chinese. Yes. He's the old grumpy bull. Yeah, he, he's a lao niu chi ren cao. Lao niu chi ren cao. Okay, I have another one. Yi duo xian hua cha zai niu fen li. What's that? A, a beautiful bouquet of flowers sticking to uh, the cow's poop. <laughs> Poet. Did you oh, know the, that? Ch- the Chinese are so many great expressions. <laughs> what other great expressions can you share with her for like um, a guy that seems good but it turns out to not be good? Do you have any other ones? Uh, it's, I think it's like uh, Xiao Mian Hu, smiling tiger. Smiling tiger. Smiling tiger. Like when you see a guy, he's smiling, everything looks good, but uh, he's actually very bad. He's going to oh, eat you. Oh, smiling mm-hmm. tiger. It's mm. he. That's like the nar. She likes to complain about narcissists on her. Past. Oh, narcissist would be uh, okay. Let's talk about narcissists. Oh my god, uh, children. Uh, <laughs> when I say my ex, doesn't mean your father. 
I've been with narcissists. Like well, they, you know, as someone who's also been with narcissists, they go and for still is, by they way. go for power. I found a tired narcissist. <laughs> they go for powerful women because yeah. they want to conquer, and yeah. to conquer a weak woman is not fun for no. them. And they see your light and your energy, and they want to take it, take it, take yeah. it. Yeah. And then they don't love you for you. They yeah. love you for the what you look like on paper and what it makes them look when they are next to you. Yes. Yeah, so then, when you're with people, everyone goes, "He's amazing." And then when you're alone with them. That you don't feel seen, you don't feel cared for, you don't feel like yourself. Yeah, my ex told me that uh, uh, I wouldn't be eating rice if I don't have this. You I what? just, he said, don't eat rice. Do you have a mirror? We have <laughs> so many mirrors in the house. Why do you eat rice? That is like literally like six months after I had a baby. Oh, uh, yeah. Because all the pure pressure. You're giving like, away my secrets for why I'm telling Hannah not to eat rice. <laughs> <laughs> You want I just don't mention the mirror thing. I'm like, you Chinese don't eat the rice. <laughs> yeah. I blame Chinese. I said, but I'm hungry. He's like, that's what you said. Say to, say to yourself. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, th there are some guys who they just like love skinny women and that's fine. But th I wanted a guy who likes curves because that's who I am. I have some curves. Curves is a real thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, Even well, you're better off in America. They appreciate curves. Yeah. In, in China, like uh, for the, they want bleach my skin and the, do the hair thing. Mm -hmm. They also said, oh, you also need to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> 30 jing, I don't know. 30 jing is how much pounds? Oh, jing, oh, 12 kilo. Oh, oh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, close to 30. 12 kilo. I said, like, eat the spinach. Eat the spinach. I said, well, do, like, well, boil spinach and eat it. So uh, I'm on set. I'm like, I, said, yeah. I don't remember my lines. They're like, don't worry, move your lips. We have voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, what do I do? Stand there, be skinny, be pretty, be white. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Stand there, don't move, be skinny, be white. Oh. Be skinny, be white, don't eat. With, like, move your lips. And then I just realized, I'm like, you know what, fuck this shit. I quit because uh, I. Well, they don't want someone with an actual personality. They could replace you with anyone. Yeah, also, like, I spent my whole life coming to America to find myself, to be. I actually love my skin color now. Like, I love how dark I well, am. I don't look. You don't look dark at all, by for, the way. For, like, the Eastern Asian, you know, like the. the, the for the Yajo culture, but, like, yeah. for me, you don't look dark at all. Like, I, I can get tan, like, d during the summer. I just, I love my skin now. And I love my face, my lips, and my big lips. I don't care. My mom's like, that's two dumplings glued together. I said, <laughs> they'd be gluing together. I don't know what we'll do. It. I was leaving they the call lips, them you know, DSLs here. DSLs, yes. Yeah. Dumpling sucking lips. <laughs> dumpling sucking lips. Dung, yeah, it's, I love dumplings. Yeah. We have big lips, me and Hannah. So I just, I'm like, a, <laughs> now I'm bleached my skin. And I have my face like this. And they also use concealer to cover my lips so it's smaller. It's prettier. Wow. Really? Yeah. I was just moving around like a baby bird asshole. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I can't do this. Oh, I want to empower the girls who look like me. Now I, I, I change into the girls that I wish I could look like when I was a little girl. I, there's nothing. I have no message. I'm a fraud. Mm -hmm. So I came back well, to America. Also, I feel like you are always prettier when you feel comfortable in your skin. Yeah. So like you trying to be morphed into someone else, you're not going to have the energy of like a confident person. Yeah. Oh, by, by the way, my friend Betty is your huge fan. Betty? Yeah, Betty, Betty Wong. Betty Wong. What's up, Betty? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I I'm, like the name Betty. It's cute. Betty, she, uh, I was at her house and she's showing you. She's like, do you know her? Do you know Hannah? I said, I do. She's like, come on. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, are you sure? <laughs> I have to dig out a photo together. She's like, how did you get her to take a photo with you? I'm going to eat her pussy? I don't know. Like, why are you still trying to make me feel like her? I don't know, but I don't know. Hannah, she's like, a, she's like a very famous. I, I, I know. I tracked her down. <laughs> no, we, I told us, me and you hit it off immediately. We yeah. loved each other immediately. Yeah. Jiang, do you ever, when you went to America, did you ever have pressure to change your first name to be Americanized? Yes. At the beginning, I never changed it. I, it's Zhao Ying, but mm -hmm. people still call me Joy. I saw Joy is cute. Joy. So then I feel like everybody's Joy. And then mm. I saw a very ugly girl. Her name is Joy. I'm like... <laughs> I met a girl in China and uh, Oh, you she, did? She was, to no, we were just chatting <laughs> outside of a shop in Renmin Dashri and uh, she wanted to practice her English with me. So she's talking English with me. So I said, what's your English name? And she said, apricot. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, 
why apricots? She goes, because I like apricots. <laughs> You're like, that would be a very good stripper name for you. A good stripper name, right? Apricot is a good stripper name. name. It does sound like a vagina. Yeah, it sounds like a, a beautiful, blooming yellow vagina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Once it's not a dried apricot. A yellow stripper, an uh, Asian stripper called apricot. That's not even racist because she she gave herself that. Yeah, she gave, yeah, she she, gave, she herself. gave herself apricot. It's a yellow vagina. Can I, ask a, can I ask a, Orange. A, a, a somewhat serious question related to what we were talking about a second ago? So you know the way you're 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 fighting against all these like prescribed uh, you know beauty standards in in Asia, but are, is anybody in China talking openly like you are about these things? No. Or are you only free to talk about it because you're over here? I think uh, uh, if I talk about this in China, they're like you ugly bitter bitch <laughs> attacking all the new men. <laughs> <laughs> you're the ugly girls because in China you're ugly you just be funny and just like I'm ugly look at how dark I am look at my big lips I'm an ugly girl but I'm funny that's what uh, you can make it in China right but, right, uh, but yeah. if I say they think I'm bitter but in America America actually see me as I think she is not ugly she's attractive gorgeous yeah. they, so I can say they were like oh really but in China it's just the, you know how crazy China is they literally be like you are so bitter you're so ugly, so bitter. <laughs> you know, I make the ugly girls look worse. Like we are also crazy. <laughs> <laughs> On top of everything else. Yeah, I make them worse. <laughs> because they just want to be ugly in peace and trap a man. <laughs> And I go up and they start yelling, barking like a pit bull. They're like, oh my God, ugly girls can be crazy too. They'll be showing you forever, leftover girls. All of them are leftover. It'll, I'll, it'll be my fault. I'll be, yeah, yeah, they'll burn my house. Now, do you do stand up in Mandarin or no? I, 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 I think my comedy is very controversial for me to really translate my stand up into Mandarin, but I can do Mandarin things I think it would work in China. Yes, yeah. yeah. But what, because, in New York, they've started doing the Mandarin stand-up. Yeah, I, I saw that. I, I, I went a few weeks ago. That's nice. I mean, they're all young and it's very innocent, but... It's cute. I'd be curious to see you... I, give, I would love to do it. Uh, because I think they would appreciate Because a lot of them... Because there's a so there's actually like a collection of them that are running these like feminist comedy shows. I don't know if you read about that. Uh -oh. There was an article in the... I'm what? not a feminist. So <laughs> yeah, well, no, but actually but you I are. But I did. I have the daughter and I kept her, so I think I'm a feminist. No, she's kidding. She's no, kidding. I, I <laughs> but I think they would actually appreciate doing stand-up about the beauty standards. I think so. Yeah. Yes. I think I should do a Chinese clip about it. Yeah, yeah, because I, I just think it'd be interesting because obviously we laugh when you're like uh, lips like a like a uh, baby bird's asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think maybe the Chinese version of that people find funny. Yeah, yeah. they would just be like, uh, I mean, in America, Asian Americans, they understand that uh, those girls are not prettier than the girls with bigger lips. Yeah. Uh, but in China, they really think so. They yeah. think uh, like, uh, I'm, I'm the bitter. So your first stand up was in English? Yeah, here. Wow. I always, I am the dummy here. I only speak English and I would always be worried like in another language, how, if my personality could really come out, but it shows how like you, tran humor transcends so many things. I see. You took so much practice to really But be I'd be curious to see because the one thing that I think is difficult when you make the transition, especially in your situation where you developed as a comedian who's a fish out of water, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when you you do Mandarin to Chinese people, you you lose a little bit of your uniqueness mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. but they would never seen an ugly Chinese girl that confident that could, that, that could be my <laughs> uniqueness like, she's so confident maybe she can't see no but outspoken is really the outspoken, strength like, they were like, she, I don't think there's a mirror in her house she thinks she's pretty who do you think most of your followers are now Actually, I saw there's a lot of Asian people, oh, uh, really? like uh, also white guys with yellow fever, but yes. like, it's like really blended in like um, American. I, I told you about yellow fever the other day, right? Or, e what did you? Yeah, because it's not really cool to say that, but you, you can say I can say yellow fever is like a, when uh, like a- White guys are fetishizing- Asian women. Asian women. Asian women are pretty. How do you, oh yeah, we talked about this at the stand in the kitchen. Yeah. How do you know a white guy likes you for you? Uh, I don't think you know. If, <laughs> if he's, if and sometimes he's so hot, you don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, or maybe the Chinese girls are fetishizing the white men. They do, and that's actually uh, because uh, they have uh, this fucked up beauty standard: uh, being light skinned, uh. Uh, having the features like uh, you know, like uh, the the Nordic kind of blonde features mm -hmm. is what they want to. Uh, you know, the girl to look like, everybody to look like, so they think Brad Pitt is hot, but like, uh, they, I think they do, mm -hmm. but I a think, little bit, but not, uh, I it's think not like same. 20 years ago, if you went to China as a white guy, 
Yeah, but now you, it's you like- You get a lot more adoration than, I think now one thing about China is they've become more confident about themselves. Yes. And their own wealth and success. The, I, I don't think there's as much fetishization no. of the white man. Not not as much. They think you look like a cartoon character because in the Japanese anime, everybody has colored eyes and blonde hair. Yeah. Right? Oh, but yeah. Uh, so it looks like an anime character. It's like an anime character. It's fascinating, but it's not like yeah. sexually attracted. I don't think, I think uh, that's is right. It's like a, uh, now, like they just like I want uh, whatever mm -hmm. I want. Well, plus the Chinese guys have more money <laughs> a lot yeah. of the time. Back in the day, it was like the Western guy has money, but now yeah, a lot yeah, of the now Chinese, the Chinese guys... guy has money. Yeah, and they say like Chinese guys they don't grow beards as much, and though they also don't have a lot of pubes. It's yeah, I'm so slop. jealous of them. Yeah, it's it's because yeah. I'm Italian. But Chinese women don't Jewish. shave their pubes. Yeah, that yeah, that's like why like uh, I didn't have sex for a year during the pandemic because uh, I social distance my husband from me with my pubes. <laughs> it's six feet long. It's like boom. no trim. Uh, no, I just I give up. I'm like you know what? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, let it, yeah. Yeah, let it grow. Let it grow. I love it. Z Ziran, no, natural. What's it natural? Uh, Ziran. Ziran. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm, I, I'm going. Okay, so what's trendy now? I'm gonna wax my pussy, H H Hannah. What is trendy now? You are the hot girl. I say, lasers, laser, laser. laser. Okay, like Star Wars. Okay, lots of lasers. Mm -hmm. Um, like a bald even your butthole. Head. Even my butthole. Yeah. Okay, I don't have a, a you hair. Don't have, she doesn't have hair in her butthole. <laughs> yeah, but I don't <laughs> have hair. Like I'm, speaking, I'm speaking from an Italian perspective. Uh -huh. I, got watch my, Wong's, I got on my, I got on my knuckles. Special. What? What'd she she say? finally got with an Asian guy who's like making love to a dolphin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, I need a weed whacker for my body hair. Uh -huh. She's very hairy. I uh -huh. chin, side, everywhere, my back. I have some beard though. Like, you know <laughs> I have some beard. Well, I'm not careful. Your like little a mustache. Mustache, yeah, mustache. Basically. People are doing this thing called dermaplaning. You heard? It's like you take a little razor, and it helps the makeup go on well. But look. I can't keep up with the details and the admin of it all. I'm married. I'll shave when I can. Mm -hmm. I'll laser when I can. Mm -hmm. But otherwise... That's otherwise, it. I have to be into the furries. Otherwise, he needs to... <laughs> She's a furry. <laughs> <laughs> she has, She's a bear. She has beautiful... Honestly, I, I think, I, I think in, it, like, in perspective-wise, you're, you're hairier than me. Right? I would let him eat my butthole more if I didn't have so much hair in my butthole. I see. I see. I don't have any hair. I see. I should wax. I'll just wax myself now. You could probably just tweeze like two hairs and you'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have hair everywhere and it's it's difficult. But girls are lasering. But it's it's so much work. It's so painful. I do it for two months. I'm busy. I'm traveling. Yeah. Then it grows back. It's a whole it's a whole ordeal. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to fight the beauty standard of having to look like a dolphin all the time. I think just let it grow. Yeah. I mean, I have very hairy legs right now i i don't have hair on me <laughs> you don't have to shave your legs no i don't have hair but again it's a it's a trend it's some it's a trend with the pussy hair i have really? blonde hair on my legs he has blonde it's hair it's through yeah it's he grew up with porn with bushes uh-huh yeah you grew up with bush i don't people. mind bush i think i think bush is underrated yeah, in China, all the girls had bush my thing is also and even in, in in chinese porn they still have bushes yeah they have Hair in their armpits. It, it's good. It keeps your labia kind of shy. Where when you shave it all, it's just like. Yes, like yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. It's like a really happy Hello. gay guy. Yeah. It's like Oscar. I come from Hi. Ireland. I come from Ireland. We're comfortable with the sweater. I, I think all vaginas should keep their sweater on. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, That's don't nice. go outside when it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, but I just sometimes it's you feel more clean when things are shaven, but it's it's a whole ordeal. Yeah, America really have. Just too the, much. They're too anti hair. Too much. Too much. Standard. Yeah. But then they want your eyebrows as, as hairy as possible. Yeah. I'm trying to play the eyebrow. And your you eyelashes. have the best eyebrow game. Oh, thank you. It's being the telling. If you have it up here, you also have it in your butthole. So it's a two for one. I think it's worth it. Because, it's worth it. Because the, your eyebrows are good too. You draw it in. I draw it in and it's, um, it's good for a Chinese girl, but it's not mm. good for like the American standard. Also, yeah. I did this for my facelift. I did the ponytail. I heard the that ponytail the, the chinky eye is trending around. You know, Foxy eye? Actually, the, well, they say like Ariana well, you guys Grande. Are very, you guys are like, like a, a, a Western people like making fun of Chinese eyes, but like Chinese people, their awareness of the different type of eyes is out of control. Yeah. Well, yeah like they don't like Lucy Liu. They don't, uh, Lucy Liu and me, we are not the Chinese beauty standard. They like a fun bing bing. 
And America, we think like Lucy Lou's gorgeous. Yeah, Lucy yeah. Lou is like a perfect and woman. And she has the freckles, which so girls are pretty. putting fake freckles I on. I know. But now- But I talked to Chinese guys when I was in China. They were like, no, nah, we don't like they, Lucy they Lou. Were, they were honest. They, they think Lucy yeah. Lou is ugly. And uh, I mean, like even that white guy, um, Martin Freeman, he's like, Lucy Lou is ugly like a dog. Well, Ariana Grande Martin is Freeman Italian. Said that? Yeah. He did it. I'm like- a, Shut the fuck up. People are taking stickers. Yeah, you saw I'm, the stickers and it pulls your face back. Yeah, he said it. So really? the girls yeah. can look. You don't have to get face uh, Oh, sorry. Done. I know some girls have got, uh, uh, to be honest, yeah. I, I don't know how we're on an Asian podcast, all of us with our hands to our... No, but I knew a girl that got, is it like a stitch or something? That so you have a stitch, but if you don't want to get the stitches to bring your eyes like this, because who knows, next year, doe eyes could be popular. Yeah, now it's But Ariana right Grande now. is an American, she's an Italian American who looks like me, right? Yeah. But she's gotten like, her, her skin is very white now, and she's gotten her eyes all the way like this. Mm -hmm. And people are saying that she looks like she's um, Asian mm -hmm. and almost like, take like take advantage of the culture <laughs> yeah yes but in a way uh, is is there is there some something that's almost positive about it i think it's good because all of the hot girls have their eyes up and chinky i'll be <laughs> i'll be safe at the subway in new york <laughs> I do have to say, it's, they call it like a cat eye. Like, I will do... Yeah, the cat eye. Because it, it, it's very feminine and yeah. it looks very sexy. Mm -hmm. um, but you're so right. We are I mean, if, appropriating if, Asian eyes. Yeah, do it. Do, do, all do the Asian eyes. So all of the Asian girls are safe at the subway you're in so New York. You're so right. Every girl on Instagram is, approach, is appropriating Chinese if eyes. If everybody's chinky, there's no, no more hate <laughs> towards Where's, Asian people. This is the last podcast I'm ever going to do, but I did have fun doing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get canceled. That's so right. This, they call it the fax eye too. Like uh, yeah. Yes. Sometimes you don't use tape. They are like uh, you but go. Up, it is such up, a trend because I'm telling trendy. you, some one girl's gonna come in and have doe eyes like a deer, and everyone's make a, gonna want their eyes like that. Yes. Then you, you you draw the white in the bottom. Yeah. And, and they want make it big and it changes all the time. Yeah. I don't think we should think is uh, culturally appropriating. I feel like it's just trendy. It's trending. Yeah. I can do the big doe eye and wearing blue eye contact. Like what I'm doing. Being a fucking husky? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I look awful. But let's be honest. The guys like us for our personalities. That's what they say. <laughs> they want the big tits. And nice, thick butt. That's what they want. Do they like boobs in China? I think they do. But then, they, they do. But it's hard uh, to... Be so skinny. Pick, pick, but in China, there's a saying. Can I say it? It's a China saying, okay? Fat girls with boobs, a skinny guy with uh, abs doesn't count. So... They like boobs. They, they want to be on a girl who is a, oh a chopstick. Oh my god! But yes. that's the thing. Yes. I always say you yes. can't have a real butt without having a little bit of a belly. Exactly, because they they will be fake. So all of the like they want boobs, but they want to be on a girl who's ninety pounds. Yep. And so you can see ribs and, and, and the boobs on it. And mm. then they're they start having back problems. And it's disgusting. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most like there's some natural girls with you, you can't yeah. have good boobs when you are ninety pounds. Yes. But it's someone with the implants, you can see the ribs cage and then like there's like boobs here. I'm yes. Like, yes. That's yes. tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, like the the, the speaking real, of tennis balls, I was a big fan of Lena. Lena is great. Lina. Yeah, she, she's hilarious too. Her she's interviews amazing. so likable. She's charming. She, I hope she's doing she's well. She's funny, man. I hope she she's had doing a good well. Chinese sense of humor. Yeah, she Very did. direct. She's good. Yeah. When she won and she made the speech about the the husband. Yeah. When she oh, made yeah. fun of her husband. Yes. Like, I can't so remember good. what she said, but it was funny. So good. Yes, and hopefully more girls in China are playing tennis because of her. I well, think there is. so. There, I think so. Like three Jangs. Yeah. Uh, I follow like three different Chang uh, women. <laughs> yes, nice on the Instagram. Would you get your daughter into sports? Uh, I think she will. She has a little anger in her. Good. We need sports for her to get it out. <laughs> yeah, I play tennis because I I need to hit something. Yeah, and not she, my brother. Yeah, yeah, she would need to hit something, not <laughs> not her brother, because my my son is. Uh... <laughs> Compared to Marco, Winston is is just uh, he please everybody. He's sweet. She's gonna. She she slap him around. And she bite him. How old is he? He's four, and he's he's turning four in one month. When is his birthday? <laughs> it's February. <laughs> seventh. You speak Mandarin with February seventh. No, nine. It's five seventh. <laughs> yeah, we speak Mandarin. He did stand up, my son. Really? Oh. Yeah, 
in my club with Jonathan Kite. I, I had a double highlighting thing with, uh, with Jonathan Kite. Winston came to work with me because every day I Winston's leave the, his name. Winston is his name. Oh, because uh, I think I want him to have courage. Sounds like, like a famous Churchill. writer. Yeah, I want him him to have the courage like Winston Churchill mm. to pe- protect the Jewish people from the Nazis. <laughs> The Irish don't have the same love affair with Winston Churchill, but we won't get into the We won't get into it. We don't have time. We don't have time. You have a Jewish wife is, is yeah, shows that how I'm much. Tw- I'm care. 25% Jewish, so actual Jewish men can't marry me because my, my mom is Italian. Okay. Uh, yeah, my, my son, uh, he, every day I leave the house, mommy, take me to work. I want to go with mommy. It's like uh, two months. I'm like, you know what? I'll take you to work. I took him. He was on stage sitting there with his truck for like five minutes. Then he started like putting the truck. It's a tow truck. He said, hook the truck on my dress. Mommy, I'm towing you off the stage. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you are funny. doing the thing yeah, everybody wants to do. You're dying on your ass. He's like, yeah. let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let me save you. <laughs> I mean, you are saying things people want to say, but they don't say. Just like what they think about Meghan Markle. But, uh, so, so he went back and then he came out and did a little, little stand-up. Told a joke? He was very funny. Oh. Said, what did he say? He said, uh, Winston is funny, mic drop. And he sat down and he placed a map carefully on the floor like a pussy. And then he said, Giant Summers is not funny. Winston is funny. You guys don't know how lucky you are. Mic, mic drop. Bye bye. <laughs> Very cute. He got on his knees and put the mic on the floor carefully. I'm like, it's a mic drop. You drop the mic. He's like, no, nice to mic. Be nice to Mike. I mean, because that's why your sister is going to whoop your ass. <laughs> I, I, was, I mean, my, I said, do you love me, Mom, Margo? She goes, no. I'm like, do you like me? She goes, no. And she slapped me on the face and she walked away. <laughs> like this. I'm like, Grandma taught you well. I think my mom's like, I, what happens if I die? Nobody abuses my daughter. <gasps> Her daughter can do that. Mm-hmm. So she's teaching my daughter. Mm-hmm. She's strong. Yeah. What do you guys think about children? What? What do you guys think about kids? Oh shit! Yeah, we're probably gonna have them. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm so excited. Her body. Look at that beautiful body. She's gonna produce the most beautiful children, healthy, beautiful children ever. Actually, someone called me healthy online the other day, and I think they called me fat. No, no, it's uh, in China. Like, uh, doesn't matter. You are fat or skinny. Your butt, good butt. Like, uh, this you can't pickle. Like, uh, you marry a woman, you have to look at the butt. If you have a good butt, you can produce a man, a boy. We Wait. want to have a sons. So you can produce sons. You have to tell her about the Chinese seamstress, what she said to you on the phone. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. I, 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 I can't remember. Oh, oh. Uh, so, so she goes around the corner, East Broadway, to this like woman that doesn't speak English. She has an emergency tailoring bridesmaid situation dress. for her, her bridesmaid's dress. She's literally just sitting there with a sewing machine. And I was like, help me. And she's like, I don't speak English. So, so I get him on the phone. She's like, oh, I, I'm, try- I'm like, I, we need it by like, we need it now. Like it needs to be done now. And she's like, oh, this is a big job. Her ass is too big. And I'm like, well, listen, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? He goes, he said your ass is too big. She said your ass is too big. <laughs> she fixed but she kept being like, I can't, it wasn't going past my butt. She said it. She literally said it. But yeah, it's hard to have children when you're touring stand up. Yeah. So like right now I'm I'm like finally selling tickets. So I'm like, I want to sell some more tickets and then eventually. I think uh, you are so spontaneous and funny. Like uh, when even you are pregnant, uh, you'll be on stage. Mm-hmm. You're like a John Rivers. You're going <laughs> to buy a water break on stage. <laughs> and that's like, <laughs> and carry you. I can't do a pregnant special because Ali Wong already did it. No, I need she, to it's do a, my own thing. It's different. I think you can do it. Okay, we'll see. I think so because it's different. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, honestly, it's just figuring out. I don't want it to hurt my career, but I also don't want to not have a family because of money i think uh, i think uh, because you are funny you live your life is your career is gonna make your career the best career you want to have is hannah want a baby hannah and the baby materials and her family materials like you guys are gonna have uh, it'll evolve naturally yeah, i yeah. really think so you are the kind of person who is a star by your own right oh my God, so like uh, when you have baby like uh, it makes your comedy better because that's your life fat booty dragon that's do we cute. need to finish Yes. Oh, sorry. Fat booty. <laughs> Fat, Fat booty, booty dragon. dragon. That's your name. <laughs> Fat booty dragon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna. Uh, well. Uh, <laughs> where can we find you guys? 
<laughs> oh, um, Hannah Burner on all the platforms, TikTok, whatever, all that stuff. Check out my episode of Burning Hell with Zhao Ying. It was so good. So Check good. out Dez's documentary, Breaking China. Breaking China. I want to watch it. On YouTube. It's on YouTube, Breaking China. He goes I'm to on China. Instagram. I'm, I'm on uh, Xiao Hongshu. Xiao Hongshu, yes. That's Xiao Hongshu. The- yeah, I yeah. should get my. But I, I have no, I have no action there. We have to get assistant to get us our stuff at Xiao Hongshu. Yes, a Chinese person. Because the Chinese now really uh, like into- a very broke, uh, vulnerable, vulnerable student at the USC, vulnerable, yes. <laughs> broke Chinese student. Somebody to take. I can get him yeah. for free, basically, just feed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's work on that. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> labor. <laughs> <laughs> work with that desk. Your, your, your documentary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm Breaking China on YouTube. Okay. But I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Des Bishop 5. 5? Yeah. <laughs> Des Bishop Wu. I told you, there's three. I know it's five. <laughs> I thought it's only three. Okay. <laughs> Jiao Ying Summers, uh, uh, thank you for listening to this podcast. You are welcome. We are so funny. I know. Uh, Jiao Ying Summers everywhere. Okay, follow me at jiaoyingsummers.com. My touring, I am back to New York City, February 28th, doing my one hour at LPR, Greenwich Village. Come to see me. Uh, February 13th, I'm doing this fundraiser at the Hollywood uh, Improv in the Main Room for the MP and Half Moon shooting victims uh, as a fundraiser. And 16th, 17th, I am at uh, San Diego, State Classy San Diego. <laughs> 18th, Palm Springs for the gay 90s. All gay, all 90 year old people. Please buy tickets. You have money, you are hot, you look good. Yeah, I love gay people. <sighs> March 8th. Irvine Improv. Anyway, uh, well, bye. You know I'm hungry. All your yeah, I'm hungry. Say, you know all your I'm days. hungry. <laughs> I'm Chinese. Uh, May 12th, yeah. 13th at uh, Chandler, Arizona, Mac Don't uh, Don't get me started. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. It's we so much it. fun.